Chaser number one, that's Dual Rock Mind of Ben Muhammad. We're here for our first episode, our first episode of our new show, Eat and Talk. Today, the first restaurant we decided we wanted to come to was a Caribbean kitchen. It's right here in Hartford on Main Street. It's a grab on the gold restaurant. So let's go inside, let's go grab us some food and see if we can talk to Chef Top. So, they got all types of food here. They got, they got chicken, you like chicken, they got fish. They got some pork, I don't eat pork. They got beef, they got, uh, it's basically a Caribbean soul food restaurant, but I'm gonna let Chef Ty talk about that a little bit more. This should be, this should be very good. I'm looking forward to, to, to you know, yum, yum, yum. Tell me, tell me, tell me. You know that? This is our first show, Eat and Talk. You gonna go out in the back and talk a little bit? Okay. All right, so I'm here with Chef Ty. We're, we're at the Caribbean Kitchen. And I, I wanted to talk a little bit. Now, tell us about the history of like, actually opening up the restaurant and all that kind of stuff because it's fairly new yeah it's really new we opened here in uh, March you know, okay what happened was uh, actually I actually been looking to uh, my first location is in uh, Brooklyn okay in New York in yep. Bedside and uh, there's where I launched uh, my first uh, full service um, takeout for a Caribbean restaurant mm -hmm. Smokey Island Grill my brother and family there we just uh, did it there and I've been here for what, like five years going on six years now and in March, I've actually been looking for another location. I was like, you know, people said come to Hartford. Because yeah. oftentimes I would bring food from New York. People would order food on a Wednesday, and I would carry a lot of food up there on a, for a Thursday. Right. Um, so eventually, you know, an opportunity came up for me to get a location. And this, this location I'm at was just by, I mean, just by the luck of the draw, I believe. Because uh, I usually eat at this, the restaurant next door called Sisters. Right. And I never knew this place even existed. Right. And this is a historic location, yeah, really. Yeah, historic location. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so, I, I, so what, what was it before? This? Uh, before me, I, as far as I'm concerned, heard, it was a uh, Raging Cajun. Yes. It was also a sit-down kind of restaurant. It was right. kind of like soul food. Right. We come and eat. Yeah. And then before that, I guess years ago, was uh, Old House. Once I saw the layout, I said, this is all I need. Right. So I built out the whole thing scratch that. <laughs> so we got y'all on a parma that you asked for I and I uh, got you some curry chicken and Definitely. candy ends and white rice. So this is a delicious, now typically it wouldn't be plated like this. No, well, this is a grab and go. Believe it or not, yes, it's for grab and go. Right. Um, so we usually have typical containers, but when I do have special guests, I oftentimes provide hospitality for okay. guests that come into town. The reason, I, I'm, I'm Caribbean, that's my background, mm -hmm. and um, I decided that you know, my brothers are chefs too, they're Jamaican chefs as well, right? Okay, so yep. I had to go along with what, already, what is my background already, right? right. So I had a foundation between um, cooking and learning the flavors from just, you know, family, my grandmother and things like that. So these are all homegrown, you know, recipes that I do, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's a la carte, but I could do full service. Mm -hmm. Even in the store in New York, we do the same thing. Mm -hmm. We do a la carte, but a lot of people, I do more delivery business and pickup business for takeout. Um, for people who have yet to visit my, uh, my restaurant, you know, these people who live maybe 12 miles away, just never visit the store, right. but they order a substantial amount of food and I give them a very creative menu. Also, it's not necessarily have to be everything that you have in there, it could yeah, be something no, different. No, it's totally Because you're a chef, you're yeah, not just... Like, you know, people want fried okra, they want honey, jerk, baby carrots. I'm like, hey, <laughs> nobody ordered this in the eight months that I've been here. Right. Now someone wants to order they it. They want it. Believe it or not, this is actually store number four. Uh, okay. Yeah, but this is the first Caribbean kitchen. Okay. My demographic isn't gentrified here, so mm. you know we're dealing with our own our own kind as far as um, the black population goes. My people, and, yeah, mm -hmm. our people, right? Mm -hmm. So we have to cater to them, and you know they do spend a good deal of money, mm -hmm. and I have to appreciate that they spend good money here. They don't. Right. So for me, I feel like I have a product, I have good food, the taste, and mm -hmm. everything I put into my food is not but love. Give me something that you know the Chinese give you. You have no problem to go to their hometown buffet or wherever. Mm -hmm. You spend a lot of money there, but this time it's your own kind giving you good food. Right. And I feel like I got cheap and quick service, mm -hmm. but it's not as cheap as McDonald's. Nope. No, but you're also getting, you know, real hearty food. You're right. not getting that bagged curry chicken, you right. know, out of the right. bag and cut and warmed up. Well, we're really talking about support. Like, how do you how do you um, maintain or grow that support? and continue to have the quality food that, that people want to eat. Right. Yeah. And, and, and in this, and so it's a different kind of environment where 
like you said, you said in New York it's gentrified a little bit oh, yeah. more. So they're just coming in, you know, like it's no big deal. It's a requirement to eat it. Right. And then here it's kind of like you have to really, you have to really be with the people. The people yeah. have to say, y'all, I'm going there exactly. on purpose. It's a choice. Exactly. And we have to get in their mind because, because, because it is. It's a big thing where. It's nothing for us to go to a Chinese food restaurant, and and that once. food isn't so. So I have a thing. I have a thing right now. I won't eat food unless I feel like it's made with love. So if me and my wife get in an argument, I don't eat dinner that night. I just skip it out. I'm no, like, yo, there's, there's no love in this. There's no love in it. Why eat it? This is not gonna. This is not gonna Listen, be good. Right? What I messed up at is I I needed. I brought people in mm -hmm. who I thought were trying to give people our own people a shot, a community of shot to of try it out, right? Yeah. And they had temperaments that weren't full of love. Mm. They couldn't leave their personal agendas at home right. and personal problems at home. Right. But when you come into a kitchen, you have to be focused on producing nothing but love mm -hmm. and your food. You cannot cook and then prepare and give to somebody with hate, right. enviness, jealousy. Right. Right. It all feeds through your food. It all comes and out. And eats that. That's right. So, so first of all, I just want to say the food is delicious. I've been here on you. many occasions. Mm -hmm. Next five years, I'm hoping that I'll be able to retire from from this and focus on a bigger goal. Okay. Um, and not it just be restaurants right. alone. But I want the restaurant business to take me to those next levels. Mm -hmm. And whatever I can do still to use the through food, right. I would do. You know what I'm saying? So there are areas that I want to put one of these at in right. where it makes it uh, make sense. Mm -hmm. And then I think I'll be done with Caribbean Kitchen when it comes to, to that. And then after that, people want to buy into franchise. Right. So I've been working on uh, what a nutritionist uh, to develop the Total Fit Mills. Like I have Total Fit Lenza, the juices that you saw me at YMCA. Again. Right. Total Fit Mills would be essentially an opportunity for people to still eat good food, mm -hmm. right? But we control it and then let you know the calories there. And we'll put a program together for you so that way you're not feeling okay. that you're getting fat by eating so much right. heavy food. Because either way, you got to go home or you got to go to the store and buy it. Right. And make it, but can it be made the way that Chef Ty makes it? Right. Right? And keep so before we wrap, why don't you go straight to the camera and then and tell people all your information on how they can get in contact with you, the email address, the website, right. um, location, all that kind of stuff. Get, um, Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff. Well, let people know how they can find me. Um, I am located at 2790 Hartford, Connecticut. Uh, you can check me out on Facebook, it's Caribbean Kitchen, also on Instagram at Caribbean Kitchen. Um, and I'm Ty Walker, Chef Ty. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram as well. And uh, my website for this particular restaurant is CaribbeanKitchen.com where you have the ability to order your food, deliver it to your house, if you're in close proximity, especially in Connecticut um, area. Um, but those who are interested in you know, catering services, uh, want to find out any information about the restaurant, and the services that I provide, you can also uh, reach us at 1-855-KBK-GRUB. Uh, it's very easy, 1-855-KBK-GRUB, or stop in at Jailers Convenience. Thanks for your time. This has been Eat and Talk. This is our first episode. Chef Ty. Thank you. I'm Abdul Rahman Ben Muhammad, Dream Chaser number one. Any video, and we are out.